What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It's. And if you're new around here, then we are on a mission because we hate the winters in the UK. We're driving our van all the way to Morocco. And since we saw you last week, a lot of things have changed. This is Amy. She's the sharpest knife in the drawer. And she loves a patisserie. <laughs> this is Craig. Free chocolate peanuts. Mate. Free chocolate peanuts. My little angry handy Andy. Oh, Craig! Oh no! Stop! 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 Going to a f DIY store. We do our best to go out there and give life a go. We have adopted three metal children over the years. First, there was Veranda Babes. She was a bold girl with a lot of character, but she turned out to be very stubborn. Watch this for a quick fix, ready? Yeah. Oh shit, that does it so <laughs> Then there was Chapati. We love you, Chapati. Who was a little bit shy, but after a rough start in life, turned out to be very resilient. Then finally, Custard, the biggest and cutest of all. She needed a bit of a glow up, but now that we've told her how it is, she's been taking us on some spectacular adventures. The three of us are back together again, and we're heading south for the winter. This week, we explore the stunning city of Zaragoza. And we find out the shocking truth about the laws in Spain. It's legal to be naked anywhere. Maybe not in the supermarket, but... But as all things van life go, sometimes it can all get a bit too much. It's just really scary. What a pickle. Make sure you click the subscribe button to join our unpredictable journey down to Morocco. Okay, to the Pyrenees. Hang on a minute. We are literally on our way out of an air, a little campsite, to the Pyrenees, and I've just opened the laptop to this announcement. <laughs> Spain officially announces resumption of cruises with Morocco next week. So we're on our way, like, further on through the Pyrenees, further on into France, because we're thinking we've got to get the ferry from Marseille for 47 well, we've hours. Booked, we've booked the ferry from we've Marseille. We've booked it, with we insurance. Yeah. However, now, Complete change of plans. Just a roller coaster ride, life, isn't it? You don't know which way it's gonna take you. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy because that means I don't have to ha fly on my own, which makes me very nervous. Craig hasn't got to get a 47 hour ferry on his own. It's with quite looking forward to that, to be honest. Oh. Bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> so we can just get an hour ferry from Spain to Morocco. Can we, though? Are we 100% sure that's a thing? I mean... Because we don't want to cancel ours now and then, like, oh, actually, no, there is no ferries. Ferries start on the first. Our France ferries booked from the fourth, so we'll make sure we get on it first. Yes, babe. Yes! We are happy about this, aren't we? <laughs> Did you just high five my spurs? Yes. Too excited. We're going to Spain. Who bloody knows if this is the right decision or not? We were just hopeful and had all of our fingers and toes crossed. Plus, we get to cross into Spain. España. We've heard that Spain is a love when it comes to motorhomes. So it was super easy to find a spot to stay the night and the best part, it was free. That is the wonkiest parking I've ever seen. Thanks for driving, babes. You're welcome. You know the best thing about this spot? What's that? Over there, just beyond the mountain, there's cows that we can feed breakfast. How are you going to feed them? Banana. <laughs> Us getting our passports out to go to Spain. Yeah! <laughs> you didn't even need them. You just drove through a toll and paid a little bit. So we made our way from Pau all the way to a little town called Onati. Excuse my pronunciation. And the next morning, we woke up to stunning mountain views. Custard is parked in a little valley in a cute little Spanish town. Morning, team. This morning has been... Um, some more conflicting news. So now there's talks of the ferries maybe not running until the 10th of November. So we've had to come up with a plan C. Have we got a plan C? Yeah. So the plan C is to drive towards Zaragoza and then towards Valencia. And Valencia. Then Valencia. So then if we get there, we're halfway between Marseille and which is the 45 hour ferry 45 hour ferry and Algeciras which is the one hour ferry which is what we want so if they say yes it's on the 10th we'll cancel the long ferry that we've booked and head mm -hmm. south to Spain if they say they're not running we go up to Marseille and we get the long ass ferry what a pickle eh? 
But yeah, we need to get back on the road, I think, make some tracks and... Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna go halfway between both, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. Tea. Let there be light. Coffee, Trev? Trev wants coffee. I got a question for you all. You put the milk in before or after if you make it a coffee? I do it before so you don't burn the coffee granules. Keep the f kettle. Keep the f kettle. Is there anybody in there? Morning, babes. Morning, babes. We're having a deep clean. How so long have we been on the road? Two, no, oh, three weeks. Ish. Yeah. It's minging everything. Everything needs changing and washing and yeah, deep scrub everywhere. Yeah. So changing the sheets, having a tidy, deep clean and custard. We rolled up our toothpaste, popped a tab in the pea pot, bleached our drains and hoovered our shiwi. Absolutely gleaming, son. To Zaragoza! Look at this Unimog, sick. We were buzzing to be in a brand new city surrounded by new faces and new vibes. Zaragoza is known for its beautiful buildings and its fine dining. So, first things first, doner kebab. I'm only joking. We were joking about the doner kebab, but we were hungry. So first stop, a traditional Spanish experience. When in Spain, you get tapas. You get tapas, do you love? You get tapas. So that's what we're doing. When in Spain, you get tapas. You get the tapas in Spain. A la Spaniel. Um, so we've ordered the whole menu. Uh, we found ourselves in Old Town of uh, Zaragoza in a place called La Biristo. Birosta. Birosta. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Um, but yeah, you know, like, I don't know if it's like typical Spanish food, it must be, but it looks like a massive cheese wheel, like a big circular chunk. It's actually potatoes. And they, they do a vegan one here. I don't know if it's normally vegan, but we're getting some. Some of that. Spanish IPA. Get a little buzz on before we walk around the cities, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe start a fight. <laughs> Holy mother of Spain, we've ordered the lot. <laughs> All right, what have we got then, Trev? Craig, I don't think we've ordered enough. I'm gonna be starving in like five minutes. What is this one? Basically a big fat potato. <laughs> Tortilla patata espanol. Yeah, something like that. If they were gonna invent a food for me, yeah. That would be it. Really? Just stodgy comfort food. Absolute winner, mate. Amazing. You love potatoes, don't you? I thought it was a gift for the world. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. This is the best thing about tapas, is you, you've got so many different flavours on so many different plates. Yeah, make sure you leave some for me. Naughty. Naughty. Done. Eat quicker, the rain's coming. All right, so this is a doner kebab. Mm. We're actually having a doner kebab after all. <laughs> Quite meaty with like um, garlic mayo and stuff. That's everything you want on a Sunday afternoon, isn't it? That was a treat and a half. Just went to the toilet to uh, go to the toilet. Went to wash my hands. There's a woman brushing her teeth in the sink. So I don't know if that's a custom in Spain. Let us know. Let you brush your teeth after your dinner, but. Feel that, feel the weight on that. This is our takeaway. That's a heavy doggy bag, that is. Back on the bike, the rain's come out and everyone's gone in, but not us, because we're not going to let that dampen our day. No, we are not. We're going to see this city, whether the rain likes it or not. We need an umbrella. Muy bien. Made it to 
Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pila. Oh, anyone would think you just read that, Craig, but he didn't. Bienvenido. That's banging, that, isn't it? It's Look at it. It's incredible. And I'm pretty sure you can climb to the top. You couldn't actually film in the Basilica, but it was incredible in there. Like the architecture. It was massive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like obviously loads of pillars, which were really cool, but they, yeah, they were huge. It was gold, there was Jesus, there was loads <laughs> to have a look at. But there's a place called the Pillar. Apparently you can climb to the top of that for some banging views of the city. Just got our tickets, four euros each to go to the top. Come on, we're nearly there. A couple more steps. There's too much food. These stairs are mad. Look at this for a staircase. Oh, Trevor's human. <laughs> but we're nearly there. Imagine this was your gaff. Imagine the penthouse on the top when you have to do this every night after you've got smashed. No. Tapas and a couple of beers. <laughs> have to climb up these stairs. If I own this as my house, I'll be able to pay someone to carry me up here. Oh, look at this. I love to be able to see it like this because it gives you like a feel. There's a knee. No more patatas bravas for me. I look like a potato. I'm trying to take a selfie. It doesn't fit in the frame. <laughs> My goodness. Patatas Travis. <laughs> no more tapas for me. <laughs> Every Christmas in Spain, there's a lottery called El Gordo, which means the fat one. And the total prize money is 2.2 billion euros. Wow. It's literally the biggest lottery in the whole world. And these little fellas sell the tickets. Yeah, they go around in these little buggies and just sell the tickets. <laughs> no, I don't, don't knock because I ah. think you have to be Spanish. Yeah, you have to be Spanish, I think. So, wow, uh, what a prize money. That just that. Puts, you, puts you up there with the most richest people in the world. Madness. Comment below if you know anyone that's won the lottery. <laughs> yeah, what did they spend it on? So it got dark very quickly. Um, and we're a little bit soggy, so we're going to head back to catch the bus. Put the heating on. You're gonna make, make a, a cake. Make a cup of tea. Did you make a cake? Are you gonna make a cake? Yes, I'm gonna make a cake. Yeah. Buddy. Make a cake um, and hang our pants in the bathroom to dry. Zaragoza has been really cool. Such a lovely city. Um, it's a shame we only had like half a day really to explore because tomorrow we've got to get back on the road because uh, we haven't forgotten we're on a mission and that's to get to Morocco. Okay. Battery's flashing, so I'm just gonna go ham. I'm gonna pull the throttle and pedal as hard as I can, and hopefully it lasts. Come on, Bug Jones! Also, it's Halloween, so I hope we don't get egged without a red light. Is that the thing the kids go egging? Most of them are vegan now, so they probably just run around throwing olives. Imagine an olive in the eye, though. <laughs> That's a salty mistake, innit? <laughs> Safe and sound. Well done, Bug Jones. Ah, oh, there we go. Home sweet home. She looks good. We got back to the bus and attempted to make a cake without any weighing scales. That's about 75 cups of tea. Mad. Six tablespoons of homemade aquafaba. So let the people at home know what aquafaba is. Well, for cakes, you usually need like something with the same consistency as eggs. So this is actually chickpea juice. So instead of chucking it down the drain, put it in a little pot. So that'll give it the moistness, innit? it? I think it's ready for the oven. Are you alright? You got that? Go on, go on fella. Go on. Get a close up on that. Right. I've been training like that, lads. Yeah. yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Who's asking? Who's asking? We got a raspberry jam for the inside. And we think this is ice and sugar, but it's obviously it's in Spanish, so we're not actually sure. It's just me and my mates. <laughs> Watch this whole court catch on fire now and it'd be like bloody bonfire night. 27 minutes later, and we're on. 
How long does that go in for? <laughs> the recipe said 27 minutes. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. It's 10 to I 11, think, Craig. I think now it's cooked. Oh, look at that. Does it look nice? It looks yeah. golden brown. Oh, mate. Yeah. Get in. Look at that. We just have a little cute, just a little cute. Just a little oh. cute beach. That'll be lush. That's not a little cute. It's a little bit spongy. Don't break your teeth. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mate. It's more like a, a, a spongy biscuit than a cake. That. I mean, I've never made anything quite like that, but I think I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our baked goods. Obviously, you can see um, Patricia over here got a, a thicker behind. Your back's mad. Than this one. So we're, we're parked on a wonk. So obviously, all of the cake mix went to, Patric to Patricia's side. Uh, so yeah, we're going to let it cool overnight, which I'm really gutted about. And then we're going to have it for breakfast, which I'm really excited about. Midnight. Bed, shall we? I wanted it to be bigger. <laughs> Alright lads, this is us. Buttercream, raspberry jam, we're on. You buzzing babes. I can't wait, this is breakfast. And there we have it. One out of ten for presentation, but uh, hopefully it tastes good. One more finishing touch. <laughs> Voila. Trevellini. Skin so creamy. This is all for me. Wow. Well, so good, though. You could choose one. Well, I cut one and I, I knew you were going to be like, oh, that bit's too small. <laughs> so I cut a bigger one. You know me so well. So there you go. Thank you so much. All right, lads. So today is the 1st of November when there's supposed to be a new announcement for the ferry from the south of Spain to Morocco. But so far, we haven't heard anything yet. So we're feeling a bit deflated feeling, this morning. I'm feeling really rubbish today. I'm just so, I don't know, I'm just gutted. Like, it seems like it's the 47 hour ferry that we're gonna have to get. And I don't know why, I've just been so stressed out about it. And I, you know, I'm not even getting it, but obviously, you know, flying isn't my favorite thing to do. Um, I've just recently had counseling to, to try and help myself get over my flight anxiety and we've done two two flights together which have been fabulous but now i've got to do it on my own and it really makes me worried we'll be all right babes don't be worried i know i will i know i will it's just really scary yeah and i kind of really wanted this ferry to open back up so we wouldn't have to do that I you know, know. it would be so much easier wouldn't it <laughs> We're just, we're just a bit in limbo. I think that's the problem, is that we don't know what we're doing. Um, and it just, things keep changing. So we've made a bit of cake. I'm not crying because I've got cake. Is that the real reason? I'm crying babes? because of the situation. Well, have a little bite of your cake, babes. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Tell me if it's any good. Go on, go for the big one. For the little one. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's like... Oh. It's really good. It's like chewy sponge, and then you've got that buttercream in the middle. <sighs> you just enjoy that, babe. Okay. You deserve it. <laughs> to step away from the stress and worry of it all, we planned a lovely, relaxing morning out. We made our way down to a place called this, and we couldn't believe the drive down. It was unreal. Dirty socks, ladies and gentlemen. We got the pasta with the sauce. We've got dishes galore. This is disgusting. You ready for this? Oh, hang on, let me get back. Get the full effect. And voila. Just like that. Took me three minutes. So, this is where we parked up last night. There was nobody for 
hours and hours and hours. We, we heard about one car go past. Take a look. And then we've woken up to this. So incredible. We weren't, we didn't even know that this drive existed. We just knew where we were going and then it took us on this wild, beautiful, twisty road through the Spanish mountains where there's little towns and little houses dotted around and there's goats. It's just incredible, like the whole geology is completely changed. It's yeah. like red earth and yeah. like golden cliffs with like desert looking trees yeah, and just this huge emerald blue lake is absolutely stunning around here yeah so it's so amazing like when you do drives like this and it's so unexpected and you just stumble upon it yeah for sure because i mean i've been to spain before on family holidays when i was younger so i've just seen costa brava you know i've just seen like the resorts or the the towns that you would go to the seaside towns so coming through the mountains is a whole new experience. Spain, you're bloody gorgeous. So today we got something really special planned. So which one we're in here? Okay, so um, if you're gonna come along today, the only thing you need is a bikini. You ready, Craig? Have you got yours on? Yeah. <laughs> Look at a little bit of nipple there. <laughs> this is our home, Craig. This is what we live in. You're so spoiled. You're spoiled, cow. Hello. Hello, you know what? I'm gonna get a shot of her because she's so lush. I'm gonna show you what she looks like when she leaves. Watch this now, watch this lush shot I'm gonna get. There she is. Bit of leaf, look at that. Bit of leaf. Professional photography that was. Ooh, girl! parking sign will forever be ruling its own world. No lilos. It's not lilos, it's rubbering. So we've got the sandwiches in the bag for the boys. We've actually got a spaghetti bolognese, not sandwiches. Um, but coming here on the drive, I think this is the bluest water we've ever seen. I know we went to the Gorge de Verdon a couple of years ago, which was absolutely incredible. We'd never seen anything like it. But I think this might take first place for blue nest Creek. <laughs> brilliant um, but people do say online that it isn't like a hot hot spring you're not going to be in like a human soup bu bubbling us uh, it is a little bit cold so I'm just going to go in with the mindset of we've we've sw we've swam in lakes in Scotland in December so if it's not that cold it's a bonus okay it ain't warm <laughs> oh, oh, oh no it is it is it gets warm as you go in Oh, cool! Yes, not, not anywhere near as cold as Scotland. Oh. Catch Amy at now, she's buggered off. Whoever labelled this a hot spring, top marketing, it is not a hot spring. It's a quite cold river. <laughs> does, it get, does it get warmer over there? <laughs> Oh, nice. It's freezing by yeah. As if. I love it. It's so incredible. The wind's so like sharp and cold that as soon as you put your hands back in, it just feels like a bath. And I mean, we haven't washed for a long time, Craig. I can smell my armpits from here. Oh, I'm going in, lads. <sighs> That's my weekly wash. I know. <laughs> Gotta get it where you can, lads, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a little labyrinth. You can just keep going through all these little tunnels. <laughs> the fish are massive. <laughs> Okay, a few tips if you're going to come here. Number one, come early because as you can see the sun has left us and I'm sure it probably does help with the warmth. Number two, there's no sand here, it's all rock. So make sure you bring some of them, some of those shoes. Um, number three, you can go all the way around. Um, it doesn't get deeper. I think you can walk 
can tell us about here, but you can swim around and it's really cool. And tip number four, there are animals here. We got some frogs, we got some fish. They will not hurt you. You should definitely come. Don't worry, if you see a full of animals, they will not hurt you. And one of my favourite facts about Spain is that it's legal to be naked anywhere. Maybe not in the supermarket, but anywhere you can just roam free. Love it. I think ever since we went to the nude beach in Wales, getting my kit off is just like so like freeing. Um, and now I just fancy doing it everywhere I can. The fish are biting, but uh, <laughs> so I better get out. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm not in there naked, it's because it's actually bloody freezing. And I have to get out and put all my clothes on. <laughs> Okay, we're going back to the bus to eat our spag bowl. And put the kettle on. <laughs> Come on, Keith, only Keith can save us now. <laughs> Keith. All right, so um, we're in the bathroom because when we finished the bus, we actually piped the heating in here, so it was like a little sauna. So it's just the best thing that we've ever done. That is it for this week's video, lads. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a mad one. One way or another, lads, we'll get there. Do you got any advice for the people today? Oh, well, I've just had the best day. So I just want to say to you, if you've got something written down, if you've got like a lovely park next to you or you want to go somewhere, it doesn't have to be like a big bucket list adventure, but somewhere that you've wanted to, to go and explore for a while, head out there this weekend. Um, if it's by yourself, take a little book, maybe take someone's dog if you haven't got one, that'll be nice. And go and enjoy yourself. Make sure they know you're taking their dog though. And always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.